Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KidBadger.com, out here today, bringing you another gear view. And today, talking about this, the Snake Eater Tactical War Belt and Pouches. We'll go ahead and start by taking a look at the actual belt system. At the heart of it, we have this guy, which holds up your pants, among other things. It's made out of this Hypalong, about one and three quarter inch, with one and a half inches of female Velcro sewn to it. So, this female Velcro faces the outside. Hypalon, it's almost a little bit tacky. Consequently, stays in place, run it through your belt loops, hold your pants up, locked on this one side with a little bit of Velcro, as well as some Velcro that essentially wraps around the belt. Does a good job keeping in place. And again, we have that female Velcro, which mates up with the rest of our components. So we have a belt pad with the system. You can use it or not, depending on how you want to run your gear. But this guy right here is the belt pad. Really lightweight. The heart of it is some four millimeter closed cell foam. Really lightweight, not very thick, but still gives you some padding. And then this heavy duty mesh. On the outside of it, we again have that female Velcro. On the inside, we have male Velcro to link up to Again, that inner belt that we're wearing around our pants. And then lastly, we have this guy, which is the outermost belt. On this, we have really heavy duty. I think it's like type 13 parachute webbing, really strong stuff. And every, I believe it's two and a half inches or something like that, it's stitched through there. So with that, you can actually attach molly pouches, malice clips, something along those lines to it, depending on how you want to have it set up. On the inside, we can have male Velcro to go on the outside of that padded belt sleeve or padded layer, or this will go straight on to that inner belt. So if you don't want any padding, you can just throw this guy on there, you're good to go. Additionally, it lends itself to, of course, attaching the Snake Eater Tactical pouches, but this ultimately is the way it is set up to include with a Cobra buckle. And the way this belt actually overlaps, it doesn't have to route your buckle through something with a bunch of sewn up velcro why does that matter well it allows you to have this free end and adjust it really easily because of that if you need to scale this up because you're wearing a bunch of layers or scale it down because you're in like a t-shirt makes it really easy to do so without trying to fight a buckle through a bunch of different layers of webbing with sewn velcro on there I've also been running the Burrow Magazine pouches, both the pistol as well as the rifle, by Snake Eater Tactical. They are made out of elastic, and they're lined, I believe, with Hypalon, which, again, kind of tacky. So anything you put in there basically wants to retain it. And retention-wise, stuff comes out really easy. It also goes in easy, but it's not stuff that's going to end up falling out on you. One of the things I do like is essentially the way they're made, the way they actually function, in that while I like Blue Force Gear 10 speed, largely in part because when magazines come out, they pretty much lay flat, these pretty much do that, except the way they're stitched, the way they're made, they're also kind of flared. So when it comes to reinserting magazines, it makes it really easy, especially if you're tack reloading, bumping magazines up, this definitely lends itself to that. Additionally, anything you want to put in there essentially like, uh, like shaped, like sized, pretty much whatever it is, surefire stiletto, put stuff in there, it'll end up holding it. Really handy if you wanna run maybe a multi-tool or a flashlight, pretty much anything, to include even radios in these magazine pouches. The back of the pouches are laser cut. You can go ahead and use PALS if you want. I've actually opted to use these Velcro straps which interface again with this inner Velcro on the actual belt itself, holds them in place, makes it really easy to replace, change out, or move as far as if I want to slide them down or just altogether remove a pouch. Lastly, with this setup, I've spent some time running the Snake Eater Tactical dump pouch. I really like the way it's designed in that the way you actually can attach this, basically right on one of your mag pouches. What this does for you is Rather than reaching around behind you trying to find your dump pouch, 
you're already indexing your magazine, you know where that is. And so when you take your hand back there, simply just drop it in there. Also inside here, there's a piece of one and a half inch scuba webbing, which kind of gives it a little bit of shape, just enough to essentially keep it open. Capacity wise, you can fit about five AR mags in there. And depending on what you're doing, dump pouches can be pretty handy. I ended up using this particular one set up on actually all these mag pouches to include dump pouch on a different belt when I was down at Shooter Symposium. Really handy having it, being able to immediately please my magazines up when there's a bunch of different shooters online, don't end up losing stuff, or just again, tack reloading. Maybe you don't want to dump that thing in the mud, being able to just throw them in here, really handy, easy way to store stuff. On top of that, this webbing, it, or I'm sorry, mesh material rather, if you throw dirty magazines, anything like that in there, stuff will eventually work its way out versus having essentially a big sack full of dirt by the end of the day. Another little added bonus. I've been using this Snake Eater Tactical belt setup for about eight months now. Honestly, I really like it. I've ran it in three different tactical games. Every time ended up with a different pistol, different holster, but same belt setup. And I kept using it because honestly, it just kept doing a really good job for me. No matter what, as far as dynamic movement, whether it's running way further than I would like, wearing something like this, rope climbs, climbing around, picking heavy stuff up, like trying to maneuver around or through things, this worked out really well for me. Because of the different systems, as far as the inner belt, outer belt, pad, everything like that, they all work synergistically and they all also stay in place. I don't need extra belt keepers or anything along those lines. Pretty much just stays put. Also really like these magazine pouches. Really easy to put magazines back as well as draw them out. And in addition to that, yeah, this stump pouch, it's just handy. I don't always run it because depending on what I'm doing, I may not need it, but as far as dump pouches go, I actually really like this one, especially the fact that it doesn't take up extra real estate. It's already indexed right there on one of your mag pouches, dump stuff in there, it's good to go. Overall, definitely been pleased with this setup. If you're interested in picking one up, I will say there's like a four to six week lead time because everything's made here in the US, I wanna say over in Oregon and yeah, it's all hand stitched here stateside. Price wise, the belt set as far as inner pad, as well as the outer belt, runs about 177. Mag pouches for pistol, I believe 25, 28 for the rifle, 45 for the dump pouch. If you're looking at picking something like this up, I would actually suggest they actually have essentially a loadout kit you can buy. All of this to include two more pistol mag pouches for I believe $355. Again, those two extra pouches, you can throw them maybe over on your strong side, depending on what you want. Be able to run flashlight, maybe tourniquet in there, whatever you wanna do. Pretty good setup though, as far as the whole belt system for the pistol mag burrows to the rifle, as well as a dump pouch. If you wanna pick them up, lots of different colors as well. Pretty much all of your standard fare to include your multicam, I believe a number of different ATACs as well. Overall, really well-made, high quality stuff. Hadn't had any issues with any stitching or anything like that coming out over the course of time I've been using these. You can find links down below, take you straight over to Snake Eater Tactical. Check out this stuff as well as all the other stuff they make. In addition to that, I do wanna thank you guys that support my content, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos, picking up stickers, maybe patches over at kitbadger.com, or picking up shirts over on Teespring, especially all you guys that support me through Patreon. All that stuff helps me get out, create more content for you guys. Greatly appreciate it. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.